Hello, my son, future son, or daughter, son. It's me, your father, Jedediah Flood. Today is September 8th, 2022. And even though I'm smiling, I am really, really sad because today Queen Liz, Queen Elizabeth has died. Um, and I am really sad about it. I'm really brokenhearted about it. Um, because I loved Queen Elizabeth. And I think it, it it's going to be really hard for you in the future to understand what her death means. Um, its significance. Um, the Queen dying is the end of an era. An objectively good era and entering into an objectively bad era. Because the queen, everybody talks, you know, big. It's like, oh, she saw, you know, World War One, and, you know, she, no, she saw the end of World War Two, and she saw the 60s and the turnover and all these crazy things, 9-11. She saw all this crazy stuff happen. She saw history happen. I don't care. That's kind of cool, but that's, that's NPC cool. The coolest thing about Queen Elizabeth is she saved the monarchy. She did a good job as queen. You know, people like to think, oh, you can't have an ultimate ruler. She wasn't ultimate. But you can't have a queen or a king and have it be good. It's always bad. People are going to tell you that. But the truth of the matter is the old ways of doing things, the traditional ways of doing things were correct and good and true. Um, and Queen Elizabeth stood for that. Queen Elizabeth stood for, she stood for um, goodness. And she stood for traditional, correct, old-timey ways of doing things, even though she was a woman. Queen Elizabeth was a 10, by all accounts. And um, that's why I'm sad about Queen Elizabeth dying. Because it marks the end of an era of us trying to hold on to those traditional ideals. And I'm going to hold on to them until I die, until I'm buried. In the beginning of, well, the continuation of bad. <clears throat> Bye.